Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation in Saints Row Remake. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU Windows platform. We'll be using Knight X3 OptiScaler mod. In order for OptiScaler frame generation to work with any game, the game needs to support DirectX 12 API and DLSS subscaler. Now the problem is, Saints Row Remake does not support DLSS subscaler. It only supports FSR upscaler. So I'll be using another free mod to get DLSS upscaler working. Callisto Protocol is another title that supports FSR upscaler but no support for DLSS upscaler. There is a mod for it that enables DLSS upscaler and guess what? This mod is compatible with Saints or Remake as well. You can download this mod from Nexus Mods website. I'll give its link in the description. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. Download the latest version of the mod, click on manual download, it comes with DLSS subscaler version 3.6, click on slow download. We'll be using the latest version of DLSS subscaler, at the time of recording this video it's version 3.7.2, you can download it from Tech Power of's website, click on download. Now just click on any one of these servers, download will start. We'll be using version 0.7 preview 36 build of OptiScaler. Add support for FSR version 3.1.2. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. And just click on the first 7 z link. First, I'll be installing the mod to enable DLSS upscaler in Saints Row Remake. Open TCP archive file. Copy all of the files present in this archive file. Now open the games install directory. I own the Steam version of Saints Row, select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files, open SR5 folder, paste the mod files here, there you go, just run this registry file, enable NVIDIA SIG override, yes, yes, ok, now I'll update the version of DLSS Upscaler, and just open Upscaler's archive file that we downloaded earlier, Extract this DLL file. Copy it. Paste it in the same directory where we pasted the contents of the previous mod file. ASR5 folder. Overwrite the file. You can check its version. Right click Properties Details version 3.7.20. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Copy all of the files present inside this archive file. Don't need to copy these two folders. Back, paste. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. Copy these files. Paste them in the games install directory where we pasted the previous mod files in the ASR5 folder. That's it. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anyway in the desktop area, then click on display settings, then click on graphics, then click on change default graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, that is variable refresh rate. Enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings, then click on program settings. From this drop down bar, you need to select Saints Row. Select the DirectX 12 version, don't select the Vulkan version. OptiScaler frame generation will only work with DirectX 12 version. Scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. Need to enable one more setting low latency mode. Set it to on. It will help in reducing the latency. Apply. My monitor supports FreeSync Premium, G-Sync compatible. Click on Setup G-Sync. Enable these settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. Apply. We are ready to run the game. Just make sure. No third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. I'll just enable Windows Toolbar. Press Windows plus G keys together. Click on performance icon here. 
select DirectX 12 mode. It's a reboot of the Saints Row series, set within a fictional city loosely based on Las Vegas. The story follows a group of four friends who start their own outlaw gang called the Saints, which they subsequently expand by seizing power from other criminal organizations in the city, developed by Volition, which is now defunct. We are in in-game settings, display mode, full screen, resolution, full HD. FSR 2 upscaler set to ultra quality mode. DLSS upscaler should be used now. Sharpening factor. My monitor supports up to 240 Hz refresh rate. V-Sync off. No FPS cap applied. Motion blur off. I have maxed out the settings. Ray tracing ambient occlusion set to ultra. Advanced display options. HPAO Normal There is no high preset for it Strange Now I'll open OptiScaler mod menu Just need to press the insert keyboard key There you go It worked From this drop down bar we can select the upscaler I have an RTX GPU so I've selected DLSS It's version 3.7.2 If you have an Intel or an AMD based GPU You can select either FSR or XCSS upscaler Frame generation disabled for the time being. That's it. We are in. This is our safe zone, our companions. Here FPS is around 80. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Going out in the open. I'll keep the gameplay short. Here FPS is staying around 80. I'll just enable frame generation now. On Hardfix setting Not enabled yet Back to the game FPS increased to around 110 I can observe the added amount of smoothness Frame generation is definitely working But I am also observing some graphical artifacts Games HUD elements are flickering They are flickering very aggressively I will just enable the debug view In the bottom middle image, we can see the game's HUD elements. This means the HUD elements will flicker after enabling frame generation. Open OptiScaler mod menu. Enable FG HUD fix setting. Need to set the value to 7. There you go. In the bottom middle image, no game HUD elements are displayed now. This means they won't flicker. After we enable OptiScaler frame generation, disable debug view, back to the game. Yeah, frame generation is working properly, and the HUD elements are not flickering as well. FPS is within a range of 100 to 120. Now, FSR frame generation usually produces some ghosting around a fast moving vehicle. I'll test this as well. Start a mission. Drive this car. <laughs> By mistake, I kicked it. Gav, you case the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I'll just follow the markings on the road. So, you know, fuck that guy. Gaining some speed. Yeah, there is some ghosting around the vehicle's bumper. We have seen this in other games as well, like Cyberpunk, Forza Horizon 5. Etc. Etc. Any game that features a fast moving vehicle. I really hope AMD will fix this issue soon. Until then, we have to bear with it. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.